Hello learners, welcome to another lecture of week 2. Today I will discuss basics and the correct uses of conjunction. So what is a conjunction? Conjunction is simply the word that join together words and sentences. There are two kinds of conjunctions in English grammar. First one is coordinating conjunctions. Second is subordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunctions join two words and clauses of equal rank. Remember all of these through a very simple abbreviation that is fanboys. On the screen you see F stands for for, A stands for and, and for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, S for so. The other conjunctions are else, is still, either, neither, both, and now, etc. Let's see their uses. Now analyze conjunctions and the situations in which they are used. Here are some sentences given on the screen. Analyze conjunctions and the situations in which they are used. Mukesh and Satish are fast friends. He is poor but happy. Go fast or you will miss the train. He is rich for he is hard working. He works hard so he scored good marks. Walk quickly else you will not catch the train. Either accept donation or resign. He is neither good nor bad. Now what do you see in all these sentences? Here in these sentences is starting from the first one and, but, or, for, so, else, or, neither, nor. All these are conjunctions. In the very first sentence and is used for addition. But is used for contrast. Or is used for choice. For is used for result. So is used for result again. Else is used for choice. Or is again used for choice. And in the last sentence you see neither nor is used for distribution. The second one is subordinating conjunctions. These conjunctions connect subordinating clauses to the main clause. For example, it was raining so we could not go out. In this sentence, the conjunction so is just connecting the two clauses. It was raining and the second one, we could not go out. Here is a list of some conjunctions on the screen with their uses. For time, for example, for time we use as soon as, while, before, after, since. For purpose we use so that, in order that, that, least. For reason and cause we use as, since and because. For effect we use so that. For manner we use as far as, as long as. For any condition, we use if, unless, provided that, as if. For contrast, we use though, although, however, yet, notwithstanding. And for comparison, we use as much as, no less than, or then. So these are subordinating conjunctions which add two clauses. So we have seen by now that conjunctions function differently in the sentences. Here are the examples on the screen. For time, we use when, till, before, as long as, etc. We have already learned through the table previously. So for time, these are the sentences on the screen you see. He came in when it began to rain. Here in the sentence, the word when. It is a conjunction. It is connecting two clauses. He will wait till I come back. Here the word till is a conjunction which is used for time. 
The patient had died before the doctor came. Here in the sentence, before is used for time, that is consumption. And in the fourth sentence, you see, as long as I am here, you are safe. Here in the sentence, as long as is used to indicate time. So these are the conjunctions. Now, in order to show the contrast, we use different uh, conjunctions. For example, here is a list of the sentences on the screen before you. Sohan is poor but honest. Suman is poor, nevertheless she is happy. Sheila is intelligent while Meena is dull. His life is full of sorrow, still he is optimist. He works hard yet he is not rich. Though he is poor, he is happy. Although he is young, he is weak. Now in the first sentence you see the conjunction but is used to represent the contrast. Likewise, nevertheless, while, still, yet, though, although. All these conjunctions are used to show the contrast in the sentences. Now in order to show the choice, for choice in the sentences, we use some conjunctions like uh, or, otherwise, neither, nor, etc. For example, do or die. This is a sentence, here is a choice. Do this, otherwise you will be fired. Now the word of otherwise is used for choice. Okay, do this, otherwise you will be fired. The another sentence you see on the screen is, he is neither smart nor intelligent. And the sentence here is again choice. Now likewise we use uh, some conjunctions to compare the things. For comparison we also use uh, some of the conjunctions like uh, then. Okay, Ram is stronger than Hari. So in this sentence then is used for comparison. Now we use also conjunctions for cause and reason. Here are some sentences on the screen. I'm just reading them out for you. Since you like it, it shall be done. As he was not present, I did his work. He looks sad as he has lost much money. He could not come because nobody invited him. So what do you analyze in these sentences? In each of these sentences, there is cause and reason. For example, in the first sentence, since is used for cause and reason. Likewise, as, because, all these are used for showing or representing cause and reason. Now, for purpose, we also use some conjunctions. For example, let's see the sentences. We work hard so that we may survive. So that is a conjunction which representing purpose which is used for purpose work hard least you should fail so here the word least is a conjunction which is used for purpose some more examples are here on the screen you can see Jack and John are friends you and your friend is to blame he was not only abused but also beaten now here in these sentences and or but these are the conjunctions used. Now let's move to some important rules of correct uses. Rule number one. Hardly and scarcely is followed by when or before. And not by but, then or that. We sometimes use. So the first sentence you can see. Mohan had scarcely reached the college than it began to rain. Now the word scarcely takes always when after it. Okay, not then. So in the second part, then is wrong. Now use when because scarcely and hardly always take when, not then. So say the sentence as, Mohan had scarcely reached the college when it began to rain. Now let's take the another sentence. Hardly had the teacher reached the station, but the train started. 
Now in the second part of the sentence, but is used with hardly. Hardly takes always when after it, we know. So say the sentence, hardly had the teacher reached the station when the train started. Rule number two, no sooner is followed by then. Remember, this is very important. No sooner is followed by then and not by but. Sometimes uh, some students use but. Okay, so it is not right. For example, no sooner had the boy entered the classroom, but the teacher called him. Now, no sooner just in the beginning, you see, so use then in the second clause. Say the sentence as, no sooner had the boy entered the classroom, than the teacher called him. It is now the right sentence. Let's take the another rule. Rule number three. The conjunction as is not followed by so, except for the sake of emphasis. For example, you see on the screen, as I am ill, so I cannot attend the college. Now in this sentence, as is used along with so in the second sentence. So you cannot use so here. As I am ill, I cannot attend the college. It is right. Let's take the another sentence. As you sow, so shall you reap. This is a proverb. Conjunction so is used here for the sake of emphasis. So it is an exception here. Remember, in the first sentence, we, we have not used so because that was a simple statement. But in the second sentence, you see, as you sow, so shall you reap. Conjunction show is used here for the sake of emphasis. So remember this rule. Rule number four states that the conjunction as is in positive degree after an adjective denotes equality. Whereas then in the comparative degree denotes inequality. Remember, means as equality, then inequality. Hence, due care should be taken not to use then in place of as. Remember, they cannot be used. Okay? You cannot interchange them. So, let's see the example here. This is as good if not better than that. Now, in this sentence, what should be there? If in the second clause is wrong, it must be as. Because we are talking about positive degree. It is to be followed by as, as. So say this sentence as, this is as good as, if not better than that. Rule number six, after name, call, appoint, elect, make, choose, think, consider, as or to be is not used. Remember, this is also important. For example, Jack called Mike as a fool. Now the sentence is wrong. Why? Because the verb called, okay, cannot take the conjunction as after it. Okay? So say the sentence, Jack called Mike a fool. Now let's take the another sentence. She thinks me as very wise. She thinks me as very wise. Now in this sentence, as is wrong once again, because the verb thinks doesn't take as after it. So say this sentence, she thinks me very wise. Now the sentence is correct. Sometimes we say the sentence is as. Ram was appointed as lecturer in the college. Now in this sentence, as is wrong because the verb appoint doesn't take it. So we will say the sentence like, Ram was appointed lecturer in the college. The second sentence also is there on the screen. Mohan considers me as an honest man. Now in the sentence consider, the verb doesn't take as after it. So we will not use. We will say, Mohan considers me an honest man. Now this is the right sentence. Rule number seven. After the verbs like 
regard, describe, represent, portray, mention, define, treat as the conjunction as is always used with them. For example, kindly treat this letter most urgent. Now this sentence is wrong because there must be as. The conjunction as should be used here. So we will say kindly treat this letter as most urgent. Now the second sentence you see David has regarded me his brother. Now again as should be there because regard is the verb here. So David has regarded me as his brother. Now the sentence is right. Now the another sentence you see, Abraham Lincoln has defined democracy, the government of people, for the people and by the people. It is a saying. Now this is also wrong because here should be as because the verb define is there in the sentence. So say the sentence as Abraham Lincoln has defined democracy as the government of people, for people and by the people as is must here in this sentence. Now let's see rule number eight. Least. The word least denotes a negative purpose. Remember, it is therefore not to be followed by not. For example, study carefully lest you should not fail. Least is followed by should, we know. And sometimes we say the sentence by using not. So that is wrong practice. Say the sentence now, study carefully, least you should fail. The second sentence you see, he is walking attentively, least he should not fall down. Now in the sentence, not is wrong in the second part. So erase it and say the sentence as, he is walking attentively, least he should fall down. Now the sentence is correct. Here is another rule. Unless means if not, and therefore it should not be used in a sentence or clause is already negative. For example, unless you study carefully, you will be unable to follow your teacher. Now in the sentence, if you don't study carefully, you will be unable to follow your teacher. Now the sentence is right. So here unless is wrong because it is, it means is if not. It is already negative. Now it is the another rule. Because and therefore should not occur in the same sentence. Remember this is very important. Sometimes in error detection, you will find these two words together. So remember this rule, because and therefore should not occur in the same sentence. Because express cause or reason, right? So uh, let's see the sentence on the screen. Because he is poor, therefore he cannot be elected to the post. Now in this sentence, therefore is wrong. Because these two words, because and therefore, cannot come together. So we should say the sentence either because he is poor, he cannot be elected to the post. Or he is poor, therefore he cannot be elected to the post. So either you can use therefore in a sentence or you can use because. So they are differently used like this solution you see on the board. The word purpose is expressed by in order that or so that. Remember, purpose is expressed by in order that or so that. For example, you see on the screen, students go to the library because they may get new things. Now the sentence should be, a student go to library in order that they may get new things. So because is wrong here, in order that or so that is right. Now using so that, you will say the sentence as, a student go to the library so that they may get new things. So either by using in order that or so that you can write these sentences like these ones. Now the another rule is, the use of present tense after as if. Remember, present tense after as if, 
and as though should be avoided for example mohan appears as if he is wise so when as if comes it must be in past remember so you can say mohan appears as if he were wise Sohan acts though he is fully expert in such things. Now in the sentence is is wrong because as though we are using so it must be in past. Sohan acts as though he were fully expert in such things. Now the sentence is right. Now rule number 12 is the conjunction both is always followed by its proper correlative and that is and and both and and not by as well as or by any other conjunction apart from it both should be nearly attached to the word it refers to for example both mohan as well as shila are coming now in this sentence as well as is wrong with the word both so say both meera and sheila are coming both takes and after the another sentence on the screen you see the teacher both find jack and jill the sentence is correct except the place of the word both place of the conjunction is not right it should be near to jack and jill because it is representing jack and jill so say the sentence as the teacher find both jack and jill rule number 13 you see remember the conjunction both cannot be used in negative sense this is the another rule related to both the conjunction here neither nor is the replacement of both in a negative sentence for example both vivek and shivam are not coming from their college now both cannot be used in negative sentence so not is there in the second okay so we have to erase it we will say the sentence by using neither nor and the correct sentence is here on the screen neither ram nor sohan is coming from their college now the sentence is right rule number 14 though is always followed by yet and not by but For example, though his fast friend is poor but honest. Now, but is wrong here. You will say the sentence though his fast friend is poor yet honest. Now the sentence is right. Rule number fifteen you see on the screen. No sooner is followed by then and not by but or any other conjunction. For example, no sooner had the girl entered the classroom. but the teacher called her now with no sooner we are using but so the sentence is wrong we will have to use then here we will say the sentence now no sooner had the girl entered the classroom than the teacher called her now this is the right sentence rule number 16 you see remember for doubt oblique doubtful in affirmative sentences we use if and whether and in negative sentences we use that for example i doubt if he is taking the examination now here in this sentence it is affirmative sentence so if and whether will be used in the second sentence you see i have no doubt that he is taking the examination so i have no doubt it is negative sentence here we are using that for okay so negative or interrogative sentences take that after that that is a correlative and in affirmative sentence if doubt and doubtful the word comes it takes if or whether now it is clear it is very important rule here are some sentences fill in the blanks with suitable conjunctions you see on the screen stop the video and try to supply the right word
Now in the first sentence you see, I tried to solve that question, dash, it was very complex. Now here is a position, so we will use but. Okay, so I tried to solve that question, but it, it was very complex. Apurva is not dash intelligent as her sister. So it is negative sentence, so as will not be used, we will use so. So say the sentence, Apurva is not so intelligent as her sister. It is a positive degree. Another sentence you see on the screen, a fool dash his wealth are soon parted. Here is addition, so we will use and. A fool and his wealth are soon parted. Let's take the another one. He was punished, dash, he was not guilty. Now here is contrast, so we will use though. We will say, he was punished though he was not guilty. Hardly had he reached the station, dash, the bus arrived. Now hardly always takes the conjunction when after it. So we will say, hardly had he reached the station when the bus arrived. Next sentence you see, it has been a long time, dash, I saw you. Here we will use since. It has been a long time since I saw you. Now the sentence is right. Now the another sentence you see, dash, he is weak, he works hard. So here is contrast in the sentence, so you will use though. So you will say, though he is weak, he works hard. Now the another sentence you see, dash, had I come, then he left. Then is used, so we know that then is to be followed by no sooner. So we will use no sooner, no sooner, had I come, then he left. Now this is the sentence. I am glad I have scored good marks. Now here we are talking about result, so we will use because. I am glad because I have scored good marks. Another sentence you see, you should wait here, I return. So in order to represent time, we use till. So you should wait here till I return. Now the sentence is right. Would you like to play cricket dash watch a movie? Now here we are talking about choice. So for choice we use or. So would you like to play cricket or watch a movie? Now it is the sentence. Now here are some more sentences on the screen. C wants to learn dash C has no time. Here is contrast so we will use but. C wants to learn but C has no time. Another sentence you see, he should either walk quickly, dash, take the car. Here is choice, so we will use or. Another sentence you see, do you know, dash, the market is open today. Here is possibility, so we will use whether. Do you know whether the market is open today? Another sentence you see, Sham is right, dash, his brother is wrong. Now here is contrast, so we will use Sham is right, but his brother is wrong. Now these are some more sentences on the screen. He may be right dash wrong in his views. So here is once again, you know, choice. So we will say he may be right or wrong in his views. Another sentence, make haste dash we will be late. So we will use here otherwise, make haste otherwise we will be late. Another sentence, intelligent people are respected dash the rich are envied. So here we will use while. Intelligent people are respected while the rich are envied. Another sentence you see, my mother will not come out, dash, it is raining heavily. Here we will use as. So say this sentence, my mother will not come out as it is raining heavily. As you know that this is the last part of the conjunction. By now we have completed and learned conjunction and their current patterns and correct uses. I hope that you have learned some important tips and techniques to detect errors in the uses of conjunctions and these will help you out 
in your competitive examinations. In the another video, we shall discuss the another important topic. So stay tuned and enjoy learning. Thank you.